<laughs> Good morning, precious. Mm, 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 mm. How you doing, baby? Happy Friday. Wait a minute, God damn it. And today on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shaw Kenya. Oh, good morning. How are you? Okay. You're welcome. Have My pleasure. Day. Have a good day. Oh, she was so cute. Cute as a button. Hey, Miss Portia. Hey, baby girl. What up, Tess? What you, what you doing, man? You want me to, oh, want me to do a little slide for you? <laughs> My neck. My back. My neck. Because I'm telling you, if I go down, I'm staying, bro. I'm staying. So you're just going to have to collaborate, whatever. So guys, when you get a minute, go today. Hey, Cynthia, shout out to Flint, Michigan. Hey, beautiful. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shook King, yeah, and hit subscribe. Look at some of the videos. If you see something you like, hit share. Yep, yeah, that always helps. Today is going to be short and sweet. It's Friday. I ain't going to do that to you. You was looking for me yesterday? <laughs> I know. That's what you get. That's what you get when you don't go to the channel. Damn, I can't set you up there, guys. That's what you get. But I'm here today. I got you. I'm going to make it easy today. Just a couple tips today. A couple co-parenting tips today. Just a couple. Yeah. One of them, I know I mentioned to you a couple of segments back. Calm down. I don't have nobody here about having an ounce of love and respect for that baby mama, baby daddy after y'all break up. I know it's hard. I know. I know. I know it's hard. But you got to have a little ounce of respect. Love and respect for that baby mama, baby daddy. You got to go back in the memories when y'all first hooked up. Some of the things that had you going crazy. Not to a point where you try to get back with them, but just enough to where you don't be so mad when you see them. You know? You don't be ready to scratch his ass out every time you pull up to get the baby. You don't be ready to muff her every time you see her. You know what I'm saying? But it's a reason for that. I'm going to tell you why. Y'all don't heard me say this before. And I'll say it again. Your only job is to make sure that baby love and respect that other parent. I'm fanning somebody. Somebody down passed out. <laughs> hey, cruising foodie. Good morning, King. That's your only job in life after y'all break up. Yeah. When y'all together, of course, it's automatic. But yeah, even after y'all break up, the same level of love and respect that you would have shown if y'all was together, you got to somehow incorporate that in this new relationship that you guys have. With that being said, your only job is to make sure that child love and respect that other parent. And, and a lot comes with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just saying hey and being cordial. You actually got to respect what they do. You actually got to respect who they are and who they become since you guys ain't together no more. Yeah, that means if they done started a new business and you was against it when y'all was in the relationship, you got to keep your personal feelings to yourself because if you don't believe in it, you're not immersed in it, you don't know nothing about it, therefore you can't teach that baby. But that other parent might have that entrepreneur spirit that's a different side to that baby. That's a, that's a something else that baby about to learn. Another way of life. Another lifestyle. Keep your opinions to yourself. Meaning, respect who they are. Respect who they become. Respect what they do. Respect their line of work. Say what you want to say behind closed doors and text messages. But in front of that child, you are supposed to uphold that parent to the highest. Right up under God. Right up under God. So therefore, you can't do that. If what? Say it with me. <laughs> you can't very well ensure that that child is going to do that if you're not doing it. Yeah, so that was one. I told y'all I'm going to keep it light. I'm going to keep it light today. And then the other one is, oh, Lord. Some of y'all might want to sit down for this one. <laughs> you might want to sit down for this Oh, y'all, somebody just gave me a compliment, little young boy. I swear I'm going to choke these little youngins. I'm going to choke he told me, Auntie bringing the roids back. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was supposed to be a compliment or not. But they is fitting pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. They is fitting really good with the Timbos. I am. Yeah, yeah. It's an attention getter. Yes. And they fitting too. You know, I gained some little weight. So, yeah. So they fitting. He said, Auntie bringing them Roy's back. <laughs> so, y'all, the next one. You ready? You ready? You got to be accommodating to that baby mama, baby daddy. Yep. You want to know what I mean by that? It can be the simplest of things. It can be just, typically, you probably pick the baby up from school on Friday, but you got a very important meeting, and it's very well, you very well can't get the baby, but you know that other parent off, so you call them and ask them if they can get the baby, and you pick the baby up, or however way y'all want to arrange it, and they say yes. I'll gladly do that for you. It's being accommodating. Yeah. You supposed to take the baby to practice, you can't take the baby to practice, or you supposed to pick the baby up for practice, you can't pick the baby You call that other parent first, that other parent is available to do it. They say, of course. I'll do that for you. It can be something as you at the grocery store. And you call them and ask them if they need anything. And you pick it up and you drop it off as you dropping that baby off for the weekend. Little thoughtful stuff like that. I know. <laughs> They're stretching him as war law. I know. Not for real. Not for real. Because if your baby going over there, why not? You going over there anyway. You was going to the grocery store anyway. Yeah, it's just called looking out. But yeah, it got to be very accommodating. You know what's not accommodating? You know what I hear a lot in the meetings? Before they get to me, the stuff that they used to do to each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll say no. If the parent calls and asks if you can pick the baby up or if you can do this and you can do that. And you can do it, and you're available to do so, <laughs> and you say no, just to make it harder for that other parent. Yep. Or if you got your family, let's let's say the your baby mama or your baby daddy <laughs> don't have people in the area of the baby school, but you do. So you ask your baby mama, or baby daddy, ask your people. You got it, okay? To go get the baby. And you get mad because you felt like, <laughs> don't ask my people, <laughs> ask your own people. That type of attitude, thank you, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's not a good attitude to have when you guys are trying to work together and raise a baby. You got to be as accommodating. And I'm saying that and I'm laughing because I've had these situations happen in the office. I've had parents actually tell me they've done these things deliberately just to piss the other parent off or make it inconvenience for them. You know what I'm saying? That, we, we can't raise no kids like that under them circumstances. Can't do it. Can't very well do it. So, yeah, it was short and sweet today. Two things. Your only job is to make sure that child loves and respect that mama or that daddy after y'all break up. It should never be a situation where that child only loves and respects you. Never. Ever. should be a balance. And if it's not what I tell you, you're a terrible parent. <laughs> yeah, I said it again. And then what was the other one, people? Say it with me. You got to be accommodating to one another. Yeah, be as helpful as you can be. Whatever you can do to make life easy for that baby and that other person, you do it within reason. Yeah, within reason. Yeah. So, y'all, that's it, guys. I'm out.